Hello, my name is Oliver Grotke. I'm a consultant anesthesiologist uh, from Germany, from the University of Aachen, and I'm going to present data on the prevention of exsanguination under a pixel band anticoagulation using a Dachshund alpha in a polytrauma model, which we obtained in my research lab in Aachen. The background of the study and the motivation, as you all know, all anticoagulants have a risk of bleeding complications. And so far, for their oral anticoagulants, the 10A inhibitors, we only have unspecific hemostatic options. So, with the development of indaxinate alpha, which is the first antidote for the 10A inhibitors, we investigated this drug in a polytrauma model. Indaxinate alpha acts as a 10A decoy and retains high affinity for direct and indirect 10A inhibitors. It binds 10A inhibitors and counteracts the activity but is no longer capable of assembly into the prothrombinase complex by mutation of two different sites. So in our study uh, we had a three days phase of feeding of a pixaban in our German land race pigs. On the fourth day at the peak level of a pixaban, we induced a polytrauma consisting of bilateral femur fractures as well as a severe blunt liver injury. This, of course, was all done under a deep anesthesia following surgical preparation. After inflicting the injuries, we had a hemorrhagic shock phase of 12 minutes to allow severe hemorrhagic shock. And we had our animals in four groups randomized. So we had one group which had no anticoagulation. This was a sham group. We had a control group which was anticoagulated with a pixaban, received placebo. We had a third group, andaxinate alpha, a bolus 1000 milligrams. And we had a fourth group, also again andaxinate alpha, 1000 milligrams, but also in an infusion of two hours following this bolus of accumulative dose of 1200 milligrams. So having this hemorrhagic shock phase of 12 minutes where we measure blood loss to show consistency of our model, the animals received depending on the group allocation their drug and we observed the animals for subsequent 300 minutes. And here you can see the primary endpoint of our study which is the reduction in blood loss. So what you see is after the first 12 minutes we have a severe onset of bleeding which means we had a bleeding on average of 900 mils which is supposed to be one third of the whole blood volume of our animals. And you can see in the control group, which was anticoagulated with the pexaban, but no intervention, you can nicely see the increase in blood loss over time, ending up to 4,000 mils. As opposed to the animals that re received endoxinate alpha as a bolus or bolus plus infusion, you can see immediately after the intake of the antidote and reversal, which means that there was no additional blood loss, which is also similar then in the curves of the shape to the sham animal treated animals. And this also translated obviously into survival, so all our control animals actually died within 180 minutes. Uh, when we looked at a panel of coagulation parameters, we saw restoration of coagulopathy. But we also looked into SEM, like here in electron microscopy, where you can see that in the control animals, where we had hardly any clotting, that their fiber network was really thin, with no good structure. And in Dexanet alpha-treated animals, instead, we saw a nice clot formation, a dense structure of fibrin as we had restored hemostasis following this bolus of antidote. When we look at the plasma concentrations of a pixaburn, you can see that after oral intake, we had an average level in all animals receiving a pixaburn of 200 nanograms per mil. Given the bolus, you saw immediately a decrease of anti 10 a activity so it was reduced by more than 98 percent and you can also see in the bolus bolus infusion group that there was sustained reversal for about 240 minutes as opposed to the only bolus group we saw as expected over time then a de increase of the 10a activity but interestingly despite this 
increasing levels of tenai activity in the spolus group, there was no re-bleeding in our animals. And you can also nicely see that in the control animals, which were anticoagulated with apixaban, there was no, uh, there was a high consistent tenai activity over time. So I come to the conclusion of our preclinical animal study. Uh, we could show and demonstrate that andexanid alpha giving us bolus and bolus infusion significantly reduces blood loss in a high lethal polytrauma animal model. And we have shown that despite the levels or short duration of the and alpha, there was no re-bleeding in our animal study. Of course, we have to acknowledge that we had this in our specific model and we have to see how clinical data will perform. I acknowledge the people from my group as well as patrollers that supported our study. Thank you.